Hello, my name is Maxim. For those of you new here, this year I've decided to pivot my career and embarked on a journey to learn iOS development from scratch with no prior development experience. I give myself one year and budget of 20k, one year to develop an application, release it to the App Store and hopefully make a living out of it. Will I succeed? Will I fail? Subscribe and join me to find out. And now to the today's video. Welcome back to Introverted Manager, where I delve into the world of project management, iOS development, and everything in between. Today we're taking a closer look at how to get your real iPhone ready for app testing with Xcode. Make sure to follow along and then jump ahead. It will save you some time, believe me. First things first, let's ensure everything is up to date. Update your iPhone to the latest iOS version and your Mac to the newest macOS version. Don't forget to grab the latest version of Xcode from Mac App Store. Next up, connect your iPhone to your Mac with the cable. Later, you will be able to use it wirelessly, but for setup, use the cable. When prompted, tap Trust on your iPhone to establish a secure connection. Open Xcode on your Mac and load your project. Ensure the deployment target is compatible with your iPhone iOS version. Meaning, if your app targets iOS 17, your iPhone should have iOS 17 or later version installed. Now, let's enable developer mode on your iPhone. Go to Settings, tap on Privacy and Security and navigate to Developer Mode. Turn on the toggle to enable it. You will need to restart your iPhone and confirm developer mode activation once it powers back on. In Xcode, find the device drop-down near the top. Select your iPhone to set it as the destination for your app. Additionally, open App Targets, Sign In and Compabilities, and select Team. I just selected myself. Without that, Xcode didn't allow me to proceed further. Hit the Run button in Xcode to build and install your app on your iPhone. Head to Settings, General, Device Management on your iPhone. Under Developer App, select your email and trust it to allow app installations. You don't have to have paid developer account, the free one works here too. Once you do, you can use it as any other app. You can keep an eye on Xcode's debug area in case there are some issues. But otherwise, you can use it like any other app. And that's all for today. Subscribe and see you next one.